Hello, I'm Daryl Brown from brownconsulting.org, and today we will discuss how to deal with a threatening workplace. Working in a threatening environment can be extremely difficult and sometimes impossible to endure. You have a right to work in a safe environment that is non-threatening. A thre threatening work environment is not only unethical, but it's also illegal. Here are some tips to help you to address a threatening work environment. Tip number one, recognize it as unacceptable. First and foremost, no one has a right to intimidate, threaten, or cause someone discomfort within the workplace. And as you see it, as the laws indicate, as well as every company policy in this country should have, it is unacceptable for people to engage in hostile, threatening, or intimidating conduct in the workplace. Tip number two, seek the best advice or the seek advice of pertaining to the best approach to the situation. We want to exercise the best approach in looking at the situation, not from our emotions or not from a point of view that may escalate the situation, but you want to look at the best approach that can bring resolution to it and enable you to work in an environment that you're entitled to, and that is a safe and non-threatening environment. Tip number three, if possible, address the matter with the persons involved. In some cases, that might not be the most feasible approach without perhaps mediation or an additional person present or some other factors. And sometimes you might not be able to address it directly at all with them and may need outside approaches or outside offices to address the issue, depending on the nature of it and the level of potential escalation. And things to consider when looking to address it with them, you may want to consider that the person might not be aware that they're engaging in activity that makes you feel uncomfortable. If you're able to address it directly and bring it to their attention and you're able to resolve the issue, that's all the better. Sometimes it's, it's it's best if we can deal with the situation at the lowest possible level before going to other sources. But as we know, every situation is different, so you may have to use outside influences, your supervisor or HR to help you to bring resolution to the issue or may to address it without further escalation of the situation. Tip number four. Continue to deliver high performance. What's really important, especially if someone is actively engaging in a threatening workplace, is that many times they want to sabotage the people that they are seeking to intimidate. What's really important in that is that regardless of what's being said by someone who is seeking to intimidate you or try to ruin your reputation in the workplace, continue to deliver high performance so it doesn't give fuel to the things that they say and it also causes them to lose credibility while you are able to maintain your sense of, of work ethic and sense of pride in your job. And lastly, do not be intimidated. Do not fall to, to the victimization of the intimidation. Take your stand and do whatever you need to do to ensure that the issue is addressed so that you can live and work in a safe working environment. I'm Daryl Brown from brownconsulting.org and these are tips on how to deal with a threatening workplace. Thank you for watching.